Good, All right, how are you? That's awesome. Box and TV and a printer right there. Okay. Do y'all happen to have any video game stuff? No video games. No video games. All right. It's a long walk. It's a long walk to the top. <laughs> Better have a freaking game or two. What are you laughing about? <laughs> Oh, we got like a shooter today. Look at that. I like these long walks. We got him. Of course you would. Up a big hill, too. Yep. Ooh, I feel it. <laughs> Burning the legs. Burning the legs. Oh, my cameraman didn't want to work today, so I'm doing it. Uh, I just picked up that there for a buck and a half. It's complete. And extreme two for the PlayStation. It was pre-owned for 80 cents. <laughs> oh, wow, look at my reflection. People don't want to see that. See the clouds. So that's what we picked up at this yard sale, that big old hill. Stay tuned. All right. Because of your games? Do you, are you getting recorded? Yep. You did? Yep. Oh, gosh. Just got to edit that out. <laughs> yes, not. we do. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> got to have a little humor. Can't be all dry, right? Exactly. <laughs> So one, two, three, hey, there's four, our five, friends. <laughs> oh, some of you work with, huh? Two games. And the PS3 games, you already told me my price, didn't you? Yeah. Four? Yeah. Yes. You said two each on these? Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Have Good a good day. You guys. Bye. Okay, we'll see you. See you, Clark, the old school store. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's okay. good. Cool. You have an Atari? Yep. That's six of them. Wow. The Super Nintendo, regular Nintendo. He's got his own system. game stores where he has yet to mention. Well, no, it's his game room that he's... Yeah, he still has a game store. He's, he's got an Odyssey. Yeah. Okay, so Justin, yours is how much? Twelve? 
4, 8, 12. Okay. guys well we're here at a thrift store I uh, did pretty good here a couple weeks ago you know stop on in it started raining a little bit more and we hit a yard sale didn't do too great found one of those little um, late 70s handheld little stick pixel football games I'll show you to you later in the video but yeah I picked up quite a few GameCube games in here a few weeks ago so I'm gonna give it another try see if I got anything new Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Shoot her back here, be on the phone. <laughs> We're up here at a Goodwill and uh, I take some video. The case. The case. You're looking at my nose. <laughs> Look at my nose. Look at my nose. Here we go. Hey guys, um, here at a game store that I, I've shopped at quite a bit. I haven't shot any in here and haven't really talked to the owner about doing it, but I'm about to go in here and try to make a transaction. They've had a game that I've been wanting for a while. I brought some stuff up here to trade that uh, I just don't think it's going to move really that much out of the flea market. So we'll see if I can film, see if I can get the transaction on, on camera or not. So stay tuned. This is what I came in for. Yes. I'm buying it. What is it? Chrono Trigger in the box. It's leaving the store. <laughs> I was afraid it forever. was gone. Yeah, forever. Yeah. I've seen one of those. Good luck and Godspeed. It's going to be good home. Oh, yeah. It's not sealed, I'm gonna play it. I got it on CD, but you know, it's not the same. I'm playing the cart. Yeah, so that's gonna go right next to the only three other box supers I have. Right next to Punch Out. Yeah, it's got box Punch Out. Very nice. I appreciate it, man. Alright, thank you. We'll see y'all. Hey guys, we just left a game store. You see on there on video. I'm just 
been waiting a while for this. I was, was kind of scared when we walked in because I was doing a little bit of a trade. I, it was kind of hard to decide on what I wanted to get rid of. So I, I had some Game Boy games. I knew what going to really move. They don't move much at the flea market. So I had a pile of those that I, I went ahead and got store credit for. And you didn't see it on video, but I asked the guy what was the lowest price after I showed him what I had that he would go on this game. And he said, you know, I knew he'd have to contact the store owner, which I didn't have a big deal with that, no problem. Because he had contacted them before uh, about another game that I was interested in the other week. So they came down on the price, so I didn't pay those full store price and I've seen what it's going for online it is missing the map which is no big deal for me I I got it in box and it does have the manual with it so um, what I paid for it was was a really really good price really good price and uh, you see a Chrono Trigger there in box it just you don't you don't come across these I uh, hardly ever come across the game so in my Super Nintendo collection I believe this is probably, this is the most uh, valuable game that I have. Uh, probably the rarest game that I have in my Super also. I, would, I think so. So, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Adios. That's better, so I'm watch it. <laughs> Hello YouTube, thanks for tuning in on my videos. And uh, we're going to do the pickups part of it just to give you a little bit of a better view of what I've gotten. Uh, the first thing is I got this Mad Cat steering wheel. It comes with the gas pedals and brake pedal. I took that off. And it's got gear shift here. I didn't realize this come, this is for three different systems. This is for the PlayStation 2, the GameCube, and the original Xbox. Uh, I usually don't pick these up. It's even got a horn on it. I usually don't pick these up. But uh, it came in with the package deal, so I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try. Uh, maybe um, I'll do a trade or something with somebody uh, later down the road. I'm not sure. Uh, from that same yard sale, got some, got a few games. Got a SmackDown vs. Raw 06. Legends of Wrestling. And then from The Sun, this is what started the transaction because they didn't have any of this other stuff out. Uh, they had these games and... Uh, some other stuff, not not all of, all of it. So they went in the house, picked up a bunch of other stuff. But anyway, here we go. The Madden 13, PlayStation 3, complete. Battlefield, Bad Company 2, Greatest Hits, complete. And Resistance, Fall of Man, Greatest Hits, complete. Got those for four bucks a piece from them. And PlayStation 2 games, uh, I've got the Mass Griffin Bounty Hunter, not complete. Auto Mass, uh, I stay at it. It's uh, Italian to me. That is complete. Um, High Rollers Casino is complete. Test Drive. Hard Rock Casino. This is a, a sealed game. Factory sealed. Suzuki's TT Super, Bike, Super Bikes is complete. Il Tigger, The Adventures of Manny Riviera. Splinter Cell Stealth, uh, Stealth Action Refined. Burnout 2, Point of Impact, Soldier of Fortune, Gold Edition, 9 Awesome Demos, Jam Pack, Volume 15, X-Men, Next Dimension, and 007, Agent Under Fire, uh, the greatest hits, copy. Now I'll get these out of the way, show you what else I got from that lady. Uh, got these plug and plays. I got the uh, Power Rangers. These are sealed. Got Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. This got five games built in it. How many is this? This one has five video games in the controller. So this is a Yoda. Uh, game key ready, whatever that is. But yeah, it's got five different games on it. It looks pretty cool. I might keep that one for myself. I don't know. I'm so more of a Star Wars collector, but um, it says if you want more games, unlock more with a game key. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I didn't read this before I started the, doing the video. Uh, got the Fantastic Four. So uh, I might be taking those out to Retro Palooza. 
And then from another yard sale, I picked up these two games. You've seen this in the video as I was walking down the driveway. Uh, Unimusha 2, complete. And 2 Extreme, PlayStation 1. I paid um, like $1.50 or something for both those or something like that. Uh, from another yard sale, some PlayStation 3 games. Uh, MLB 10, The Show. Madden 09. These are complete. Viva 10 Soccer 12. And Masters. This game here on the X, I bought it for the 360. Uh, I didn't buy it right when it came out. I waited until, until the price dropped a little bit more. I paid like $30 for it. But my uh, key code never worked. And they said if I wanted another one, I'd have to pay whatever, like $20. Uh, I'm not doing that. So, uh, yeah, if you go and you, you don't get the whole game with this you get like half if you want all the all the golf courses all the golf clubs balls and everything else they'll cost you about 240 dollars real money um they might have probably dropped the price in it but i haven't played it in, in probably over a year since i played that game but yeah to get that whole thing that just really really stinks uh something else i picked up uh, from that other lady i forgot to show you uh two mad cat wireless controllers uh, this one here has a joystick that's broken on it, but I think I probably have something that will work in it. And got the two sensors to go with it. Haven't tested it out. And then I got a PlayStation 3 wired controller from her. Again, I haven't tested that out. And then from another yard sale, uh, I got this uh, Classic Football 2 Mattel. This is the second version of it. The first version had the, um, the gray or uh, cream looking color on it. This doesn't work. I tried a couple different batteries in it. Uh, so I'll probably take this retro palooza see if anybody just wants it pay a couple bucks for it so yeah that's uh oh wait a second i got something else to really show you i've been wanting to want to show you all this you've seen it on video seen it in the store i got me chrono trigger yes in the box not complete missing missing at least a map i don't know how many maps comes with this somebody said two but I don't, i'm not i'm not 100 sure on that if you can leave a comment below to let me know there's the game comes with the sleeve really clean here's the manual really nice it's got a couple little creases on it but nothing to complain about and you got the box with it too so yeah i got this got the protective sleeve right here somewhere i don't know what i did with it but this is to date my most expensive most valuable game in my collection uh in my game room so yeah, I only have this makes number four boxed Super Nintendo games. I'm glad I got this one. Uh, knock off one of the harder ones to get. So thanks for watching my videos. Like it, please thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, I'm glad y'all are watching my videos. This is why I do it, just to show y'all what I what I get. And uh, it was, uh, just stay tuned for the next video.